I find it such a shame when I see so few number of females in the gym or even at home practicing resistance weights and trying to build some lean muscle mass. Stick around in this video because I'm going to let you know the common misconceptions and mistakes that sometimes are fall with females with regards to building lean muscle mass and fat loss. Hello everybody, Jason Davis here, Body Remastered. Um, this video is all about the best way for females to build lean muscle. At Body Remastered we have a quote called muscle is an underrated solution to fitness and health. And we truly believe that. And it does, that, that, that quote doesn't just relate to, to, to males, it relates to females as well. There are so many advantages that lean muscle can mass can have for females, but there's so many misconceptions. And I want to debunk that today straight away so that females can really contribute to their lean muscle mass and not be afraid to uh, you know, practice some resistance weights if it's something they're not doing right now. So let's get straight to these misconceptions. The first one is the over-focus on aerobic training. Yeah, that's right, over-focus. You're thinking, well, why? Because that's surely aerobic training is what's key for fat loss, and that is one of my goals. Well, it's not the fact that fat loss is a problem as a goal. What I'm saying is that the methodology of only using aerobic training to reduce fat it's not necessarily the only answer, and lean muscle mass plays a part in that. And why is that? So first of all, when we talk about uh, building lean muscle mass, uh, what I'm not including is typical HIIT training, where you're sometimes um, lifting, I know HIIT training can vary, when you're sometimes lifting two to three kilogram weights. Uh, so yes, yeah, certainly that could play a part in your overall muscular endurance, but what I'm talking about is strength training, and females being part of strength training when it comes to squats, deadlifts and really intensifying some of their training um, when it comes to their overall strength and building some lean muscle mass. So there's two main reasons why you'll be much benefit of carrying out some more strength type training than, than lifting those small um, weighted uh, dumbbells in as part of your HIIT training. Uh, something to reduce fat and also build lean muscle mass. The first one is your EPOC. That is your excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Just to put that in. Um, and that, that's basically, without making it complicated, when you exercise, your body needs to return to normal state. You know, your heart rate increases, sweat glands, everything, everything changes. So that process of returning to normal state increases if you really do an intense strength training exercise. And that's gonna be great for fat loss. The second one is your RMR, your resting metabolic rate. And for females, this will have a huge role in just making sure you stay lean and your fat percentage, your metabolism is strong, you know, all the time. Even at rest, you're burning calories. And, you know, building a bit of muscle, lean muscle mass, really plays a part in that. The next major mistake for females, but also for males, is starving yourself or not getting enough protein in your diet. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. If you reduce your calories purposely below your resting metabolic rate, you're gonna negatively impact your metabolism and also you're gonna have an impact on your bone density in the long term. And we know that particularly for females, you, you know, your bone density uh, can be more affected as we age, more than males, although bone density tends to, to get worse as we age generally. So, you know, and not only that, you're gonna lose muscle mass. So there's an issue there. Not only that, if you are on a diet where you're getting peaks and troughs, um, you know, you, you eat very, you skip meals maybe a lot during the week, but then the weekends you, you have a lot more um, calories, then your body's going to rebound. And as a result, your body's likely to actually increase uh, the storage of fat, not reduce it. Now, I'm not necessarily going to get into the details of fasting, uh, because that can work, intermittent fasting can work in some scenarios, um, and there's some advantages of that. But remember, we're talking about building lean muscle mass. And I can tell you, certain situations of fasting it's not gonna have a real benefit to building lean muscle mass. You need to make sure you get the right quantities of nutritious food, and the second part is protein. Protein plays a massive role when it comes to, you know, building those rounder glutes, those stronger legs, and those broader shoulders for, for, for females. Um, it's a central macronutrient, and without it, you cannot build lean muscle mass, and you can't shape the body in the way you, in the way you want to. Don't forget that protein is more complex in carbohydrates, so it's hard to break down. So that's gonna help you to make sure you're maintaining your weight as a female, um, generally because you're having more protein 
uh, then compared to, to carbohydrates. Not to mention that structurally, protein is key for your bones. As I said, bone density is a particular issue for females as they age. So make sure you're not skipping uh, your protein within your meals. It's absolutely key. The next part to remember for females is that you will get great estrogen balance if you are incorporating um, weightlifting into your training. Estrogen is a critical hormone for females, but it's important that estrogen is balanced because if your estrogen is too high, you're gonna, it's going to lead to uh, fat, higher fat storage. Having more lean muscle mass will support the regulation of estrogen as a hormone. That in turn will help you build lean muscle mass and also control fat storage. If that wasn't enough, here's another misconception about uh, building lean muscle mass as a female. The next major issue I'm always seeing is females thinking that fat, dietary fat, and carbohydrates are their main enemies. It couldn't be further from the truth. Of course it's all about balance. Too much of anything is unhealthy. But if you don't get enough carbs in your diet as a female, you're going to increase that level of cortisol, which is a stress hormone I spoke to before, um, which you don't want. That's going to uh, lead to uh, you know, increased fat, body fat percentage. Not only that, it can cause a drop in hormone levels. It can decrease your muscle mass, even if you don't train for muscle, uh, which is not great. It can, it can lead to reduced thyroid output. Not only that, it can actually disrupt or even cease your menstruation cycle, which is not good. So all that's going to happen if you reduce your carbohydrate levels to a too low a level is that your glycogen reserves in your muscles are going to deplete, therefore your muscle mass is going to go down, which probably is going to make it look like you've got an increased uh, uh, fat mass as opposed to muscle mass. So that's not good. Don't be fooled, however, if you take all of a sudden a drop in your carbohydrates, you probably will notice a bit of a weight drop, but that's only water weight. It's not true weight, and that will fluctuate back up. It's important to pick the right carbs in your diet. That's going to increase your insulin sensitivity, and it's really going to have a great impact in your overall nutrition and health in the long term. Okay, the next one really annoys me. It's the fallacy that females cannot build muscle, just like men. And if they can build muscle, this view that if they build muscle, they're going to look too bulky in appearance. Yeah, it's true that men produce around 15 to 20 times more testosterone than women, and testosterone is key for building muscle, but actually women, uh, females don't need testosterone. They've got estrogen. And estrogen plays a huge role in the anabolic, anabolic processes that are required uh, to build muscle. So that's the first one. The second part is it is true that um, you know, genetically, females have a different structural um, framework than males do, and they start off with far less uh, amount of muscle mass compared to males. But that doesn't mean females can't generate uh, impressive muscle to, to the level that they desire. Please don't worry about getting too bulky. It's not the lean muscle mass that's causing you to be bulky if that's not a desire. It's the fat. It's the increase in body fat percentage with the lean muscle mass that creates the, the appearance of, of being bulky. Not to mention, if you see any female with a ridiculous amount of muscle and that's not your goal, I can almost guarantee that that person is, has an extremely great genetics to build that amount of muscle, or they maybe they're, 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 they're having steroids as part of improving their performance, um, or whatever it may be, or their diet is on point, or they're, you know, they're an athlete. Please don't think it's that easy to build muscle. You're not going to turn into a, a female version of the Hulk just by doing some strength training, incorporating that in to your overall program. So I definitely recommend including aerobic training for sure, but make sure there's some strength training as part of that. Incorporate the deadlifts, the squats, the overhead presses, the, the right um, exercises for your glutes and your hamstrings. That's all key as part of your overall training guide. Make sure you incorporate a balanced diet of carbohydrates, dietary fat, and protein. Don't forget the protein is key. And also maybe assess what you want in terms of your goal. Uh, what is your body fat percentage now? Um, and don't try to get to a ridiculous, low, ridiculously low body fat percentage. Aim for around about you know 18 to 25, or a bit a bit, a bit higher than 25, depending on your overall makeup. Uh, but see where it is at the moment, and is it the right time where you can build some lean muscle mass and give that more toned appearance? Okay, everybody, it's Jason Davis here at Body Remastered. Thanks very much once again for li for listening. If you like it, please like it and. Um, Listen out to the other videos that we've got because we're always going to cover lots of different things. There's the equivalent blog um, if you go to www.bodyremaster.com 
there's much more detail than what I've given in this video if you really want to see the ultimate guide to, uh, for a female to build lean muscle mass. Once again, um, wish you the best of luck uh, in your journey and I'll speak to you soon.